Father God, we thank you for the wonderful life of our dear Michael. We want to remind ourselves this morning the promises that has shaped Michael's and our lives over the years. Michael and I we have shared some of your promises and we thank you Father God for the hidden strength Michael has drawn from your promises which is written in the Bible to run his race and finish it well. Isaiah chapter 49 verses 15 and 16. Never can a mother forget her nursing child. Can she feel no love for the child she has born? But even if that were the possible, I would not forget you. Jerusalem, I can never forget you. I have written you your name on the palms of my hands. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Psalm chapter 34 verse 6. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Father, we thank you for giving us the hope that we will see Michael. Lord, we can be certain of one thing. As dark and as grim as things may seem for Michael at times, especially in the last few years, these circumstances in Michael's has produced within Michael something precious. the innocent look the gentle smile and the heart full of compassion and the hunger for god which was very noticeable during my visits to the nursing home to see michael especially during the last 3 years thank you lord for this wonderful human being help us lord to run our race and finish it well michael has completed his race well and now michael is enjoying all what heaven has for michael michael is now in our future lord i'm grateful for the life of michael over all the years i have known michael he had treated me a foreigner to ireland with respect kindness and compassion thus fulfilling with or without his knowledge leviticus chapter 19 verse 34 The foreigner residing among you must be treated as your native born love them as yourself for you were foreigners in Egypt i am the lord your god lord we commit michael in your hand once again i thank you god for the privilege you gave me to get to know this wonderful human being by getting to know michael lord you have shown me that you have put a piece of you in each of us we don't have to look further for you god you are alive and living in each one of us only if we can let god have his way in our lives michael believed in you he surrendered his life to you now michael is enjoying the eternal life you have given to him thank you father john chapter 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his son Jesus Christ whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life Lord may your blessings and your protection be upon Michael's family Michael's friends and with all of us who are gathered here to celebrate Michael's life I pray this prayer to our heavenly father God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen